what's up Aquarius this is going to be a love forecast for the second half of February this is for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers if you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a like throw me a comment share it does help out my channel if you're new here I put these out every two weeks so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video there tends to be a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you would like to explore your options, I put a link to Mystic Sands in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to so many brilliant psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. Sorry, guys, I really need a sip of water because I've been talking a lot. <laughs> And so um, if you want to check them out, please do. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those profiles in the description box as well. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm going to do a reading for you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Then how do you feel about them? And then the projected outcome for the second half of February, bearing in mind that outcomes can do will shift based on your actions, your inactions, your reactions, your core beliefs and your assumptions. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go and look into the law of assumption. This is a reading on one version of a connection that's been manifested from the place that you're at. And there are infinite versions um, and infinite timelines. And so, you know, you can tweak things, you can have things conform in your favor. Um, you can do all of that. There's plenty of content online. I just saw the star card, which is your energy Aquarius. So perhaps this person is wishing upon a star for you let's see but there's a four of cups so there's a sense maybe of um disappointment between the two of you let's have a look queen of wands hmm. unfulfilled potential and whether or not to continue to invest i just saw the seven of pentacles in the reverse this person how do they feel about aquarius let's see four of swords in contemplation Back and forth, two of pentacles, ten of swords. Okay, seems to be trying to get over some pain. Um, either you've broken up with this person or there's a painful cycle or there's been some pain in connection to some back and forth energy between the two of you. Um, but then there's a soulmate connection, two of cups, and the seven of pentacles is in the reverse, which is what I saw when I was shuffling it's what i was channeling so this is a sense of is it worth investing in anymore there was a foundation that was built um there also might have been a waiting to see how things play out like waiting around investing and something has sort of halted or ended now they're still back and forth about it two of pentacles there could be some pain a sense of this is just guys don't run with a story unless you know it's yours because i don't want to trigger people but there could have been um a feeling of betrayal like there could have been a feeling that there was a juggling of options or something like that two of pentacles there's there's pain here um there also could have just been issues to do with like prioritizing um like because two of pentacles work life balance financial issues um work could have gotten in the way between you and this person but i do have a king of swords in the reverse and that star card has come out in the reverse with the four of cups which is the cards I was seeing when I was shuffling. So there's something here about lack of truth or honesty. Someone feels like someone wasn't completely upfront or concealed something or didn't follow through on what they promised. Okay. Maybe that that's where the betrayal has come in. Maybe it looked one way and then it, ended up being another way and there's disappointment here four of cups four of cups also is like emotional rejection so the emotional rejection thing it could be coming down to also feeling like not a priority um and the star card in the reverse i mean this is about something that needs to be healed it's also maybe a sense of loss of hope i mean on one hand i was picking up that this person seems to still have hope and sees you as a soulmate to a cusp. There's rejection issues here that need to be healed and trust issues, King of Swords in the reverse. I've got Queen of Wands, Chariot card, Two of Wands. There's a sense of, you know, which direction forward this person's feeling. I mean, Queen of Wands, there's a lot of attraction. Um, there also could be distance, like physical distance between the, the two of you. Um, maybe there's a sense of trying to plan to move things along or travel towards you, or there's a like, move on and move forward like or move this in a better direction it's very 
Two of Pentacles just seems a lot of back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, tell me about this Two of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, like it's been moving very slowly. This person, I mean, how do they feel about you? It still seems to be a slow and steady energy, like they still have a goal, <laughs> okay? Like it looks like they still have an end goal with you, but for now it looks like there's some pain here that needs to be cycled out. It could be pain around indecision, two of wands, on the direction forward, especially for those of you where juggling options applies. Now, not all of you, okay? But the Knight of Pentacles, it's the slow and steady to get it to like something stable or committed. There's a lot of burdens here. This, something's weighing heavy on this person. Ten of wands, ten of swords. And then, that, you know, four of swords, they're still in contemplation about things. So it looks like there might have been an ending or things are on a break, but they've been processing things. Let's look at that chariot card. Why do we have the chariot card? Six of cups. So they do want to reconcile things with you. And I'm not just saying that to tell you guys what you want to hear. Um, chariot card. They want to reconcile things. I also see this as wanting to move on and move forward from the past. So there's past issues that need to be um, healed and rebalanced. This is also childhood stuff. So guys, for some of you, I don't want to Freud in every session, uh, session in every reading, but there could be like a betrayal wound and that could have caused some kind of a, a pain or a triggering here, okay? Yeah, emperor, it could be daddy issues. Um, Six of Cups, the Emperor card. Now, for some of you, this is also just about wanting to take control of matters and build something stable and reconcile. And like the oracles are going to tell us more about that. Now, you could be dealing with a husband and, or a father figure or that's playing into the situation, your end, their end, both ends, whatever. But this is about stabilizing things and wanting to build something more um, like a stronger foundation. Um, there's just a lot of pain here and there's a lot of burdens and two of swords um, seems to be that there's, there's a bit of a stuckness. But then the chariot card tells me wanting to move past that. Uh, you know, the star card in the reverse is just like lack of vitality, needing to heal. I mean, maybe they're feeling this way about you, Aquarius, right? I'm doing how do they feel about you? They seem to still want to move things along, but it's stuck. Or there's a sense of indecision. Maybe they feel like you're not choosing or you're not deciding and there's a rejection issue here. Do you, do you know what I mean, Aquarius? Uh, I don't know. I reckon we're going to get some kind of mirror situation. It's always like that one. I can't kind of tell. Aries energy um, with the Emperor card. How do you feel about them, Aquarius? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Wands. Passion. How do you feel about them as we move into the second half of February? There's a Five of Swords. But I saw it in the reverse. So maybe you feel that you'd like to get past some tension. I mean, I also saw the magician in the reverse, which is like untapped potential, unfulfilled potential. Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. You both have Queen of Wands. Some of you, there's like, look, the Two of Swords here. Um, and again, please don't take this, guys, if it's not your story. Queen of Wands can be the other person so for some of you there's a betrayal here involving like someone um but it could also be a friend or it could be a family member or someone in in the workplace or something like that i don't know guys um for some of you it's romantic or it's an it's even just an ex that's still lingering around i'll get some oracles on that but there's a sense um aquarius like you maybe want to move away from what's caused pain. I mean, Six of Swords is moving things in a better direction. Um, Three of Pentacles, you seem to want cooperation from this person or to get on the same page. Um, yeah, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priestess is in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. The Six of Cups is in the reverse. The Ten of Swords is in the reverse. Okay, so they've got the Ten of Swords in the upright. So that this person, it seems to be like there's still pain here and you seem to be trying to, Ten of Swords in the reverse, let go of some pain. Uh, look, you've got the Six of Cups in the reverse. So the feeling here is when I get Six of Cups in the reverse, I always say that there might be past issues that are still being held onto that's preventing 
a new cycle. Like Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, it looks like you want to shift things for the better. Maybe you feel like there's a sense of destiny between you and this person, but there is some pain here connected to like secrecy or holding things inside or things not being clear. Perhaps something did come out and it caused pain between you and this person or betrayal, right? Um, now the six of cups in the reverse is we have to look to the previous card. The upright card would be the five of cups and that is like regret. So someone here needs to let go of something that's being done and to move forward, right? So I think Aquarius, it's like, you know, I think you're going to have to use your intuition about what you want to do in this situation. High Priestess card, some of you are dealing with the Pisces or there's, yeah, there's Pisces in the mix here. I mean, this is such a weird read, Aquarius. I'm sorry. Um, Six of Cups. I mean, this just could be a lot of childhood issues as well playing into it that has like rejection issues, trust issues, betrayal issues. Um, like again, Aquarius, maybe that's what has played out. There could have been a meddling influence, but maybe that's something that exacerbated things. You know, am I really picking up like full player energy? Not really. Um, I've got Lover's card in the reverse though. So something's led to this feeling a bit one-sided like the love is lost. I mean, that's a very strong love connection, a very strong contract, but I don't know. There's uh, a lot of pain here, Aquarius. Let me have a look at that lover's card in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse, definitely a sense of trust issues here because Knight of Cups in the reverse is when we don't trust in the love or we feel like the love isn't sincere. Then I've got Nine of Cups in the reverse. So that's like selfishness. So maybe there's been some selfishness or overindulgence. This can be drinking or partying that's caused betrayal as well or pain as well, guys. Sorry, Aquarius, it's a weird read. I mean, the devil card is in the reverse. So this is about releasing toxic patterns. So again, Aquarius, you might want to release this person. I don't know. But again, I ask you guys that are watching this because you're interested and you want things to change. This is about potentially releasing some kind of a toxic pattern or cycle that maybe has been going around. I mean, there's rejection issues here. There's a sense of betrayal, devil card, nine of cups, overindulgence, addiction, codependency. Um, I don't know, Aquarius, this is really weird. I'm going to get some um, oracle cards on what they intend to do moving forward in the second half of Feb. I mean, yeah, like Aquarius, you know, this could really be that if there is a third party or a betrayal, you know, that could be, like I said, it could be an outside unhealthy influence um, or it could be an ex, for example, that is the energy is still around and that's really causing a lot of drama and a lot of issues. Like someone needs to let go of the past and heal the past. And this is why there's a lot of um, this sort of back and forth and rejection issues and stuff going on in the present situation. Like maybe there's a lot of triggering, um, holding back. Something hasn't been healed. And then there's a lot of trust issues in the present situation. And maybe there is stuff that needs to be healed between the two of you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's weird. <laughs> Sorry, Aquarius. Okay, what is this person's intention in the second half of Feb? Between the lines, it's weird. Vague, in, you know, hidden meaning. I mean, that's that high priestess card. There's a real feeling of like maybe holding back on one another. Things are vague, things are hidden. Soulmate though, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. Yeah. Okay. Single. So what's this person's intention? Well, it says alone, isolation, lonely, guarded, heartbreak. I mean, how many times did I say pain? Hurt. This literally says betrayal, grief, disappointment. Four of Cups is also disappointment. Text message, communication, phone call, um, divine intervention, catalyst, supernatural, karma. Gosh. Snake, deception, shady, temptation. This is enemy. So either there has been a temptation and this has caused some heartbreak or some betrayal, like something's come out, Aquarius. Um, 
you know, or there's this real feeling of distrust between the two of you because this is an old story that you've experienced or they've experienced. And so that's like being projected into this situation. There's a lot of trust issues here. I don't know. Let me have a look at Snake. Crossroads, yeah, choices, multiple options, turning point, indecisive. A lot here around not feeling chosen and that's that two of pentacles. And then I've got truth confession clarity so what does this person want they want to have an opportunity to um talk uh, communicate get to the truth of things um and i was about to say and heal and reconcile and then i've got reconciliation here reunion second chance back together i miss you unfinished business so something here feels like it's not over i said back and forth a few times it's been very back and forth. This says back and forth. It also says patterns. There's like toxic patterns, okay, that are playing into this situation. Now, guys, I encourage you, if you do want this person, things will shift. You don't have to wait for the person to heal or change. You can absolutely, this is a, a version manifested from like your state. It's not a blame game, guys. And I'm not excusing shitty behavior or narcissist or any of that stuff, guys. So please, I'm trying to do my channel differently. And for those of you who want this, I can help you to maybe manifest something different, right? So either you can talk this down to a lesson and something you want to heal within yourself from the experience, or you could say, okay, look, if I want to manifest this differently, I can go away and think about what is the narrative that's playing into this? What is my story about myself and how I see myself in relation to love? And how has that then manifested in certain behaviors, reactions, patterns, um, and manifest this differently from a different state self-concept um, and also the way you see yourself in relation to them and the way you see them because if you have a reconciliation and you hold on to an old version of a connection it's possible it will keep going round and round i do have date courting dating anniversary meetup this person wants to go on a date with you they want to reconcile they want to talk about things there's been a lot of confusion um, trust issues stuff around other options or not feeling chosen things not being let go of maybe from the past as well or people um maybe enemy shady temptation with unfinished business i think unfinished business is also past baggage so this is about healing that and letting go of that either between the two of you or like you each have past baggage that needs to be let go of and you don't even need to focus on them, Aquarius, if you look into the law and you go and you do your work, you can manifest this person without the past baggage to worry about. And it will make sense when you look into the law. Because this is also confusing, let me just get an unspoken truth. Okay, I wish I had treated you better has come out. I regret lying to you. What is, oh, there's some lying going on here. I replay our conversations over and over, Aquarius. I want you. There's a lot of desire here and attraction. I love you. Okay. So there's been some lies. Whatever those lies are, I don't know. There seems to be a real feeling of betrayal. Maybe they feel that you lied. Maybe you feel that they lied. There's, they want to tell you that they love you. They replay the conversations over and over. They want you. <laughs> anyway, Aquarius, enough. I'm going to stop there. Um, I hope that it resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time.